Um, on behalf of the Linux Plumbers Planning Committee, I'd like to wish you a welcome to Linux Plumbers 2013 here in New Orleans. Um, we have a very good program lined up. Unfortunately, I'm also a little short of time, so I'll try and do this quickly. Um, I will mention, well, I'd like to thank the planning committee, um, Jesse Barnes, James Bottomley. Oh, he's here. He's up early. Um, Becky Bruce, Chris Johnston, my, well, myself, and Elena San um, Sanani. Um, in particular, I'd like to mention that we have two people, two of our committee who couldn't make it today, so I kind of want to send a special thank you to them. Jesse Barnes, who had the strange idea to time becoming a father again just before the conference. Obviously, he's got something wrong with his timing there because he needs to get his priorities right. Um, and Elena, who couldn't make it because she lost her father recently, and um, so if you see her, you know, please say thank you and um, give her a hug for organizing the, con uh, the conference. Um, in addition, we'd like to thank the Linux Foundation, in particular Angela, Marisa, Stephanie, and Craig for doing a tremendous amount of work for us. Um, without their efforts and all the practical work they're doing, we would have no conference. Um, so thanks a lot to the Linux Foundation. Um, we also like to thank the paper review committee who were drafted on short notice to help us out reviewing all the, ref uh, the refereed papers. Um, Paul McKinney, um, Kyle McMartin, and David Woodhouse who helped out the rest of us going through a large amount of papers. I can't remember. We had about 100 or something to look through. Um, so please thank them all. Um, on top of that, we have a pretty packed program on the microconference area. Uh, we have 13 different microconferences, um, ranging from everywhere from little Android and Otomoto to large scalability issues. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the names here because it's just too many and we'll be wasting all our day. Um, the microconference leaders are the ones who really put the conference together or the bulk of the conference, so you should be grateful and thank them for their efforts. Um, please give them a hand. On top of that, we need to remember that we never have a conference like this without our sponsors. So in, I'd like to start by thanking our platinum sponsor, Intel. Um, they have obviously put a lot of effort into helping us here. Um, and give, please give them a hand as well. In addition, I would like to mention that we have two gold sponsors, IBM and Samsung, who we are very happy for having as well. So please give them a hand as well. Okay. Now to the more real part of the conference part. We have a pretty good program lined up. No, I should say a very good program lined up. Um, we have three days of conference, which includes refer referee talks, which we share with LinuxCon. They are all on the Wednesday. Then we have three days of microconferences. They are scattered out over the three days, so you need to check the website um, for the details on the microconferences. Uh, we have BOFs, um, and then we have reserved space and rooms for hack time as well. So when you've actually dis dis concluded you have a real problem, you're going to go and fix it. We've also reserved some space that you can go and sit down and fix the problems. Um, and of course, we have social events on top of it, which should never be forgotten when you're at Plumbers. Um, BOF proposals, we still have time or space for more BOF proposals um, and slots for them. So if you have a BOF, you can submit them using the website. I put a short URL in there because I couldn't have the long one and nobody could see it anyway, but otherwise you can find it, submit it through the submit a proposal on the Plumbers website. Um, if you do that, please send us an email as well because that makes sure we actually see that there's new entries. Um, we have reserved space out in, in the foyer for hack time. 
And on Friday, we will have two dedicated rooms for uh, this purpose where people can go and sit down. There should be power and Wi-Fi and, and tables and chairs. Um, I guess the sort of, well, the, the um, how do you put it? The key for, for plumbers is the microconference concept. And the microconferences is where I think a lot of it really comes together and what makes plumbers so special. Um, looking at the microconference, it's important to think, look at and say they should be attacking a significant problem or set of problems um, that includes the kernel and user space and trying to make them work together, get them together. Um, we really want to see plumbers being a discussion forum. Um, we're not particularly interested in hearing about finished work. We want people to get together and solve problems. So m mostly discussion, minimize the number of slides. Um, we want plumbers to be open to everybody. Um, it shouldn't be a little clique just discussing themselves. It should be take in everything, um, new people, new ideas. Um, in addition, we want to see all, um, all microconferences produce a readout on Friday during the closing plenary um, to tell us about what has been discussed and what has been achieved and what they're going to do next. Um, we would like them, or we, we ask that they are all taking notes in the provided ether pads. Um, so we can collect these notes and share them and keep them for after the conference uh, for those who are not able to attend. And we ask that you, once you're done, email, you, email us your slides. The layout of the rooms, um, each microconference room will actually be in here. So once we're done here, they will close off part of this and turn it into three rooms. Um, there will be a normal projector for slides. There will be a projector in the corner, like the ones you see there, for an etherpad where some, somebody can take notes. So we encourage the microconference leader to make sure that he or she always has somebody assigned to take notes. I mean, they're allowed to take turns. Um, it'll be in the rooms called Celestin F, G, and H. Um, and we will be record, video recording these sessions and putting them up. Um, on the internet afterwards, so we can share the conference with those who couldn't attend. Um, the referee tracks are shared with LinuxCon, and you should check the monitors um, for which rooms they're in and when. And in addition, we have the hack space, which we didn't have much of last year. We're trying to make more, f push that more this year. Um, it'll be res there will be seating in the foyer, and on Friday, We'll have two rooms upstairs on, on the fourth floor, um, Imperial 10 and 11. You can either just take the elevator up one floor or take the stairs. I mean, taking the stairs is probably a good, healthy option. I'm sure James agrees. Um, in addition, please wear your badges at all times. Um, inside the hotel, we, you, we will be checking to make sure that we are not having uh, non-plumbers people attend um, and you also need it for all the social events. You will not be let into the social events without your badge. So please keep it on you. Um, hungry engineers are not going to do much work. So we have breakfast out here in the foyer in the morning. There will be coffee breaks served in the foyer as well. And on top of that, you should all have received three of these these purple coupons, which will allow you, it's a voucher for $22 that you can use in four of the restaurants of the hotel. Um, and, it, and today, there will also be additional concession stands in the Storyville Hall, because we're sharing with LinuxCon, so there will be a lot of people today. Um, so you have basically one coupon per day. Once you've used it for a meal, you cannot claim the rest of the, of the value if you're only getting a small drink. So, but at least it should allow you to get food, and you can pick and choose pretty much like you want. No plumbers without social events. Um, so tonight we have a, I don't know if it's a reception, or it's not a dinner, but it's a party reception with, uh, which we say over the LinuxCon at the House of Blues. Um, we have a parade leaving the hotel tonight at 5.45 p.m. So you should be at the lobby to participate in the parade um, by 5.30. It's about a one-mile walk, so it should be 
doable for pretty much everybody. Those who do not wish to walk um, or cannot walk can take a bus that will depart the hotel. At, I was told 6.15, so be at the lobby by 6 to make sure you get on the bus. But join the parade if you can. Yeah, and there will be drinks um, as you leave the hotel. It should be, I have been told that people are actually allowed to walk and drink in public in, in New Orleans. So there will be drinks handed out as we leave the hotel for the, for the parade. Um, there will also be water bottles, I think. Um, of course, on Friday we have the plumber's signature event, the plumber's closing party. There would be no plumbers without the plumber's closing party, obviously. It'll be at the Grand Isle restaurant. Um, we will have buses and, and uh, transportation for that. Um, there will be more information about this event on the Friday plenary. I went to check out the restaurant with some of the committee members yesterday. We did some research. And um, it is highly recommended. We hope it'll be at least as good as last, well, on par with last year. Um, again, wear your badge for those events. OK, I'm doing much faster than I'd hoped for, so uh, that's good. Yeah. Um, I was told to recommend a few safety issues for New Orleans um, by a local expert. Um, it is supposed to be one of the highest crime cities in the US. Um, so be a little careful about how you're walking around, what, how you're behaving in public. Um, apply common sense. Um, and try not stand out as a visiting nerd by carrying badges and laptops and things uh, highly visible. Um, I haven't experienced any of these problems, but um, we just encourage you to enjoy the conference, have fun, but also be sensible and, and apply common sense in your behavior. Um, so with this, I would like to announce or call Linux Plumbers 2013 for open, and I hope you enjoy the conference. Thank you.